Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to some Ark Extinction. Today, we're going to be trying to get us an Argentavis. So they are all the way back down that way, where we just came from when we got the two sabers. But I think I have everything finally made up. It's uh, pretty slow going on the charcoal, but I do have 47 of the Trank Darts and 36 regular ones. That way we can try to kill some of the other Argentavis that are around, because they do drop prime meat. The thing that we need to do before we go is get a saddle. What do we need? Uh, a little bit of chitin, fiber, and hide. Ooh, I'm getting pretty low on hide. Ah, we got enough though. And then, is that enough of the chitin? Yes, it is. Let's empty these sabers out before we go. I think we're going to be taking this one. What does he have? Not much on him. A lot of meat. That's stuff we don't need, so we can drop all this. And we'll throw majority of that meat into the uh, into the other one. She's going to stay here. This one, leave her as a guard dog. Ooh, she has a points available. Let's put it into damage. Tell you what, we'll leave everything in her right now. We'll empty it all out later. We'd like to go ahead and get this thing tamed up. So we're going to hop on this one and close the door. Those spiders around, man. I don't want them getting in there tearing stuff up. Are you on neutral? We need to change you to neutral. There we go. Keep everything safe, man. Let's put her closer to the house. Well. She's a bit overweight. Oh, because she has that. Yeah. Just throw it all in here. Not a problem. I was going to move her closer to the, the base here. The spiders kind of come from over that way there. All right, going to head to the other side of the city here, and uh, we'll see you back in a few. We are back over here. Oh, look, there's a beaver dam. Dude, we need to go over there before we do anything and get a little bit of cementing paste. That's awesome, man. I'm glad they're building their houses around here. The only thing is we're going to grab a lot of aggro. Put him on passive because I don't want him attacking the beavers. Want to keep them alive. Oh man, that's a lot of so many pace too. Oh, let's get out of here. <laughs> they always get so mad when you tear their house up. I mean, uh, you know, for good reason, of course. There's another one. Wait, is he aggressive too? No, but he's been attacked. All right, let's get this one real quick. Oh, I hear him coming. Yep. <laughs> Shake and bake, man. Awesome, dude. We got uh, got some pearls, too. I don't... I can't remember where else you can get pearls on this map. Maybe over in the desert biome in the water, I think. Possibly. Let's get out far enough where we lose aggro on those two... Those two beavers, and then we'll try to hunt down. Actually, we can go up here and scout out to see where the Argentavis is. We're going to be attempting to tame. So there's the one over there. Somewhere. Dude, why am I having so much? Oh, there we go. Alright, so that's a level 50 there. So let's go ahead. Man, them beavers still have aggro. Alright, where are those beavers at? You guys alright now? You calm down? No. <laughs> They're like, man, he tore up our house. Of course we're not okay. All right, man, let's go ahead and pull this bird over this way. And see if we can't get him tamed up. The only thing I'm worried about is he is going to run whenever he almost gets knocked out. And doing this without a trap is going to be kind of sketchy on this map. Especially because if he heads out into the... Outside the walls where the corrupted area is. Dude, there's dinos out there that are... Oh, man, they're not safe. Shouldn't be... Shouldn't take too... Oh, man, now I'm going to aggress that thing. Dude, this is going to be bad. Yep, see that guy's flashing red? He's going to call in the enforcers to come attack us now. 
which sucks because if they hit the team, it's going to be a bad day. Maybe we can get him under here where he doesn't fly up high. When he starts to run, that is, you know. Dude, he's taking a whole bunch of tranks, man. See, this is why we didn't try to do it the other day. I wouldn't have had enough. Not on a max level one. Oh, there he goes. Nice. All right, let's get a couple more before it gets too high. Oh, dude, I totally missed that one. Come on, buddy. Drop over here. This is a good spot, man. Surprised I haven't seen any raptors out here. Of course, now that I said something, right? Oh, there he goes. Nice. Uh, how do we get up there? <laughs> uh, that's gonna be a problem. Might be able to right over here. Yeah, okay. Oh, dude, it's the other one. Oh, wait, this is level 15. That's good, that's good. Kill him and get the prime meat. Nice. All right, so where is... Oh, there's that dude. Tell you what, let's put some regular bullets in this thing. And try to pop him real quick. He's going to just keep causing us problems. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. <laughs> As I say that, he, like, attacks me. Wait, one? Dude, can we not kill these things anymore? You used to be able to pop them with uh, one or two bullets. I can't jump high enough. All right, our bird's all right. Dude, I can't attack him. What? Is it because of the shield, maybe? Oh, there we go. Nice. So these things drop blueprints, too. I'm not really sure. I can't remember what the scout's for. But we'll pick his blueprint up for right now. All right, so we safe up here. Let's go ahead and get our prime meat out. Throw it in a little buddy here. Nice, level 150. So that's a female. What's the other one that's around here? There was another... There was another 150. I don't know where it's at currently. Oh, there it is. Let's take a look. Maybe that one will be a male. And it is not. It's another female. Dang it. Okay, well, no breeding those at least right now. All right, well, I'm going to sit here and let her tame up, and then we'll be back and maybe do a little bit of farming on the enforcers to try to get a blueprint. See you back in a bit. Nice, nice. There you go. So she tamed out to be a level 224. 3,100 on the health. Stamina is 1,200. Weight 664. Kind of low starting off. Uh, damage is four, uh, 440. So that's not too bad. Pretty decent stats. Let's go ahead and throw a saddle on her. Let's go ahead and drop the saber off a of base. Then we'll do a little fly around and check out the map a little bit. I don't think there's anything that we need to leave here. Let's throw a little bit more food in him. And I kind of need to throw some food on the grill for myself too because I am getting pretty low. Let's get rid of the cementing paste and everything too. Dude, I'm so glad we got cementing paste. And uh, a couple pearls, and I forgot to take him off a of follow. And let's throw this in there for now. We'll look at those later. Oh, get rid of these rare flowers, too. Dude, would you just sit down somewhere and preferably not on the fire? Well, I, see, <laughs> I, see, I said it because I knew he was going to do it, man. I'm just saying... Uh, the, the, the things that happen in this game sometimes, man. All right, what was I trying to do? Oh, yeah, throw some throw some food on the grill. Yeah, I know you're hot, man. I did I did change out to some hide armor. I might have to change back soon, though. Oh, wait, I don't have any more. I might have to change back soon, though, because it is getting pretty hot for stuff. 
Awesome. That's enough moving that stuff around. And you got food. We're going to put stuff into weight. And let's do a little bit of a flyby. So, like I said, we are kind of in the middle of the map. And there's two different biomes. So everything out here is pretty much just wasteland. Not really much to it, except for the corrupted dinos. But you can kind of see the dome over there. So by the blue obelisk is the winter biome. It's cold. It's snowy. Your typical Arctic area. And these are some of the corrupted dinos, man. So they drop these things called uh, nodules. And they act as kind of like organic polymer. It has the same effect. But they do a ton of damage, man. Like they tear your, your metal bases up. So yeah, see, there's some of the corrupted nodules. So that right there will be our organic polymer. And holy crap, we got a bunch of points. So we're going to do weight, of course, and then we'll do some health and probably a little bit of damage. But the enforcers, the little uh, kind of robot ones that you can tame, or not tame, but you, you can build for the blueprints to ride, they get a huge bonus for attacking corrupted. So we're going to be... Gonna be getting one of those soon here. Use him for exploring and running out and doing the defenses. So that's a drop pod over there where the smoke is. So that's kind of like our normal drops. We'll go and have to do those. There's a couple different levels of them. And they spawn in a bunch of corrupted dinos and it's like a wave defense you have to do. And this is the winter biome. So it's kind of neat, man. You can kind of see it has a different backdrop. So it looks like you're not in the wasteland anymore. It is nighttime in here. Remember I said that in the biomes they do have day and night still. But it's pretty neat, man. I like building over here in this one. It's got a bunch of different creatures. It has some biome-specific ones. Uh, Manamagers. I, I don't know how you pronounce it fully. But then you got your typical wolves and woolies and all that good stuff. Let's head over and check out the the desert biome before we call it on this one. And this one, it is nighttime. Turn the gamma up so you guys can see a little bit. This one is where the red obelisk is, and it is just like Scorched Earth. It's hot. There's a, a bunch of different stuff in here that's on the normal maps, you know. But they have a, a really good mount in this biome, and there's one there. It's a Velanosaur. Dude, those things are awesome, man. They're like little, little turret guns, little needle throwers. And they are vicious. Oh my gosh, will they tear you up? That's one of the mounts we're going to be taming here pretty soon. These are just some low-level ones here. But they're rideable. They're pretty awesome, too. They're just, um... <laughs> they're tough to take out, man. Sometimes you die a lot. Especially if you don't have flak armor, which they do pierce through. Anyways, we do got our flyer finally. So next video, we're going to take a look at getting some enforcers. Or an enforcer. And that'll help us when we're out in the in the wasteland there with the corrupted dinos. Gonna go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.